Hi, I'm Terry, and welcome to a short series of webcasts we put together to help you and your child get up and running on our early math program as quickly as possible. Sasha and I have been building and testing this program for a number of years in the public schools, private schools, and more importantly, online. Many of our users have had tremendous success with just a little dedication and consistent practice and we are sure your child will achieve the same results. For only $29 a year, we think our math program offers a convenient and affordable solution to help families achieve a strong foundation in early math education. So please give our math program a try. We are confident you will see the same amazing results many of our students already enjoy in a short period of time. Not only will your child be mastering arithmetic, but you will witness an incredible transformation as your child builds their self-confidence to reach for even higher academic goals. So let's dive into our first webcast where we will quickly show how to get started learning using rightlobemath.com. If by chance you are not already registered, please go to rightlobemath.com and sign up today. Let's get started. Okay, now that we have logged in to writelobemath.com, we're here on our main practice page. Here on the main practice page is where students will launch all their activities on writelobemath.com. At the center of the screen, we see there are four training modules, Sorban, Mental Calculation, Math Facts, and Tools. Now the program was designed for students to work across all of these modules um, and we'll talk a lot more about how that is actually done in subsequent webcasts. So please come back and check those out. For this webcast, we're going to focus mainly on this Sorban module to get started. So clicking on Sorban, we can see that a new user will start their training on the Beetle 1 level and we ask students to train their skill first and then practice. So mousing over, I'm gonna click on this blue training button, which takes me to the main training page. And here on the main training page, I can see at the top we have a roadmap that shows our entire skill training program. And the skill training program consists of six levels, each represented by uh, a different insect master and each one of these levels teaches the student one new abacus skill and by the end of skill training our students will be able to master all addition and subtraction problems. It typically takes a student somewhere between three to four months to complete the entire skill training program and once skill training is complete users will move on to our more advanced level training where we have 10 levels of advanced sort of on training including multiplication, division, decimals, and negative numbers. So to train, a user just simply watches a short instructional video. So here in the first uh, beetle level, a user is shown a video that teaches them how to operate an abacus, how to do simple number counting, and the basic bead movements. There's a second video on this first level that will show users how to solve problems at this level. And finally, there is a step-by-step -step guide that this training program will show users each of the steps that they need to take to solve a problem uh, efficiently. So let's just take a quick look at this. Please watch and follow along. Use the same finger movements you see on the screen. Click next to work through the problem. Add two to zero on Roddy. Repeat each step by clicking the white beads on the digital abacus or use your own. So as we see, the software is showing us how to solve the problem in the upper left. And so it does that by showing us how to process each number in the problem set. 
um, by showing us which beads need to be moved on the abacus and as you saw it also shows the corresponding finger movements that we will need to um, add those beads to the abacus. So we also like students when using this training software to follow along on their physical abacus or they can use this digital abacus here and just um, uh, click the appropriate beads to um, follow the software as they move through each of the numbers. And to go to the next step, they would simply click next. I'm going to go ahead and stop this so we can return to our practice page. So now that we have done all of our training, all we need to do is click on the practice button. Clicking on the practice button takes us to our quizzing software and here all a user needs to do is click on the start button and clicking on the start button the software will generate a unique problem at this level for the user to practice. So let's go ahead. So clicking start I can see that I'm presented with um, a problem set of 15 problems and I have a certain time frame uh, in which to complete those problems. So what we want students to do is to work out these problems on their physical abacus and then simply enter the, the answer into the box provided. So for example in this problem it first asks me to add three. So I place three on my abacus and then I need to minus two and then add one and finally add two for a final answer of four. Entering four you can see that uh, a red and green box appears in the upper right. Now the red box tells me that I was a little bit slow in solving my problem but the green box tells me that I entered the correct answer. So we're going to measure both a student's accuracy and the speed at which they solve their problems. Once they complete the problem set, they will be taken to a results page which shows them a summary of what they did and whether or not they passed that particular practice session. To pass a session you have to achieve 80% correct. In this case that would mean you'd have to get 12 out of 15. And so from here a student can decide to either go to the next step and continue practicing or they can return to their practice page. So returning to the practice page I'd like to point out that at the bottom of the beetle icon here we can see there are the numbers 1, 2, and 3. So to advance to the next level we require students to pass three uh, practice quizzes. In this way we can ensure that a student has mastered the skill at that level before proceeding on to the next level. So that's basically it on how you get uh, started training on rightlobemath.com and I hope this was helpful and uh, I certainly hope you come back and watch the other webcasts uh, so that you can see how a student can work across the other remaining uh, training modules. See you next time.